For this Vegas Pro 18 tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create a smooth and seamlessly object slash walk by transition. So you pretty much want to go to the Explorer and then find where your clips are. You pretty much want to left click and then drag this into the timeline. So this is going to be the first shot that I'm going to have into the timeline. And I also want to drag in the second one right underneath it. Now, what we want to do first of all is we want to pretty much have a look at the video and have a look, see where it starts. We're going to press M on our keyboard to get ourselves a mark point. And you also want to go to the end of it where the post isn't visible anymore, which is right about here and get yourself the second mark point by pressing M. So now that we've got ourselves the mark points, we can then drag ourselves the second clip all the way to the first one right here. To create yourself a mask, it's really simple. You go to the event slash crop right here. And in here, you have yourself the position, which is the first one and the mask underneath it. We only want the mask. So we're going to tick on this to enable it. Another important thing before you start this is to make sure that you have sync cursor. This basically syncs up your video right here with this one. Now, when it comes to creating the mask, you have multiple options. So if you wanted to, you can use a rectangular or square mask, or you can use a pen tool. Personally, I prefer the pen tool. It's a lot easier. Go ahead and move on to the next frame and continue on until we get more of a opening. You want to left click and then create yourself a little bit of a gap right here and then connect it up. Now ours is doing the opposite. So what we need to do is we need to go over here. The mode will say positive. You can set this over to the negative and this will actually take it away. So pretty much we've got ourselves the first keyframe, which is right here. We want to move further down onto the timeline. And then we want to go ahead and go to the first tool, which is the normal edit, right click on here and go to deselect all click on here on the line and then move this over to the side. Now, if you wanted to move a specific anchor point, you would hold shift and then you would click on that specific line. So as you can see, we've now deselected that second point and we can now edit the one underneath it and it won't move the rest of them. But since we're going to need a few more points, we're going to move this one over here and we're going to move this one all the way down here. And now what this will do is it will play from this keyframe right here onto the second one and it will cover it up. Now, sometimes you will need to add one in between because sometimes it will do it too much to the point where we're going to readjust it like so. We have a look at this. It starts off like this. If you wanted to, you can expand this. So as you can see, we can do this. Going to once again, deselect it all. And we're only going to select this line right here by left clicking on it. Now, once you've got yourself the first one and second one, you want to pretty much move the other one and this will move it all together. At this point, we will need to add ourselves another anchor point by going to the pen tool, left clicking, and then we can now go back to the selection tool and then move this one over here. So pretty much click on this one, readjust it, and you can add yourself as many points as you want, but just make sure that the gap that you leave between each keyframe is reasonable. Once again, we can hold shift, click on the bottom one, and we can move these two together rather than struggling to move one by one. We can hold shift, deselect the top one, and then move the one underneath it. And make sure that the gap is always closed. A key to this as well is make sure that the gap is a little bit more on the inside of the object. So pretty much just keep on continuing on, even if it goes out of the frame. So as you can see, most of the post is gone now, but we can have a good guess where the bottom bit will be. And then finally, the very last one, you just want to fully open this up because otherwise you'll have an open gap. So as you can see from the preview, it opens up the second clip very nicely. It is all sharp. You can preview and see if there's any keyframes or if there's any big gaps that need to be readjusted. What we need to do now is we need to go to the very start and make sure that we also close this gap right here. So we can pretty much move this 
over to here. So we can have a look and see. Everything is looking great. If you wanted to, let's say you wanted a specific keyframe to go quicker, you would just right click on it and you would set it to fast. And this will make it move much quicker. If you wanted it smooth, you can set it to smooth or you can move it to slow. But keep in mind, it's good to apply it to all of them. So what you would do is you would left click, drag this out, select them all and then right click and then set this to smooth or fast. Another quick tip as well, if you wanted to, let's say one of the lines, let's say this one right here, you wanted it to have a little bit of a blur. What you would do is you would go right at the top here where it says feather type. You would set this one to inside or outside or both. And then you would just simply add yourself a feather. And as you can see, this is making it more softer rather than being straight. And that's pretty much how you create the object slash walk by effect. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. It shows other people it was a good video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I have more Photoshop and Vegas Pro tutorials. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.